Hello, 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 and welcome to Little Known Galaxy. I'm Evie Green Bottle, and I'm so, so, so excited this game is finally here. The full release has just happened, and I am excited. I played this demo back during its next Steam Fest recently, and I fell in love with it. It's basically Stardew Valley, but in space. You play as the captain of a ship, and that ship has not had any success with captains in the past. You're to explore the galaxy, take care of your ship and your crewmates, and all your passengers along board, and and just discover some really amazing things and I am looking forward to it so let's jump into a new game. In the near future humans have traveled into the universe. Starships have expanded our horizons and have brought friendships to new galaxies. As a new captain in training you have just been given your first assignment to join a rundown starship orbiting a desolate gray planet. Your mission is to discover the secrets behind a mysterious relic found on the planet's surface. But with the ship falling apart and no clues left to investigate, the crew has lost hope of ever solving the mystery. It's up to you now, Captain. Remember to support your crew, follow your heart, and always take care of each other. It's so heartwarming and lovely. All right, this is CPU, our central processor, and he is saying hello. He's the handy dandy charismatic central processing unit for this very ship. And what is your name? Well, we are, of course, Captain Evie. Welcome aboard, Captain Evie. What a great name. Don't be offended if I forget, though. I'm just terrible at remembering names. Oh, this ship has a name, too. What was it again? Um, Chippy McShip Face? Um, that doesn't sound right. Well, hey, let's just rename the ship together now. This is the Galactic Green Bottle. <laughs> yes, we are happy with that name. <laughs> oh, yeah, Galactic Green Bottle. Now that's a name for a spaceship, all right? It's going straight into the database. Also, I should store what you look like in my image files. I don't want to confuse you with other people or furniture on board. That would be bad. All right, so we can choose a body shape here. We can choose a skin tone, including some alien colors, which might be a bit of fun. We could try to be an alien. Maybe a bit of a green alien here. I think with a bit of blue hair, green alien, blue hair. And I think I like that. No facial hair though, uh, but oh, glasses. Oh, look, we could be like, is it Jordy McForge? Jordy, no, I'm Star Trek. <laughs> Some earrings, a bit of makeup on. Oh, <gasps> we could have ears. Oh, the ears are fantastic. We're going to have little alien ears. I mean, of course we're green, so we need to have little pointy ears. It's adorable. We can choose our eye color and our shirt color and the color of our trousers. There we go, and even the color of our shoes. There we go, I think that looks quite good. We look quite Captain-y, I think. Captain Evie is on the case. Looking great. Okay, let me show you around the ship now, Captain. Ta-da! Welcome to the bridge. This is just one of the many deck levels on the ship. If you find yourself lost at any time, you can access a map of the ship in your space pack. This elevator can be used to quickly move between deck levels on the ship. We have a lot of deck levels on the ship, including the science and medical, crew quarters, recreation, cargo and shuttle bay, and the engine room. There's also the central plaza deck, which is perfect for socializing and shopping. Let's go to the plaza before the crew gets started with the day. Welcome to the plaza deck, the heart of our crew community. Oh, look, there's like a little food place over there. There's a shopping area. There's a gym. It looks like something's locked with like the angriest lock I have ever seen. Here, Robert runs a general store for purchasing supplies and most things you'll need to keep this ship in ship shape. All right, Robert is expecting you later. He wants to give you data on buying and selling items, but that can wait. On to the tour. It's a nice looking ship. This is the chips canteen. You can grab a bite to eat or spend time with the crew here. Chip could be here soon to open the register and get things cooking. I hear the food is great, but last time I tried it, Stuart had to recircuit my processor. Since then, he said I'm not allowed to join in anymore. Oh, poor CPU. But moving on, let's head down to the cargo and shuttle bay. Here we are, the cargo hold. Oh no, the basketball, he's got a little face on him. I like all the little hidden faces on things. Edward is our chief mechanic and runs the machine shop. It's a great place for upgrading your tools and buying mechanical things. It can also help with larger upgrades to the ship when you want to make improvements. Ooh, and we've got our own deck on board. Oh, and it's the worst one. <laughs> it's pretty classic. Oh, but look, there's like uh, some space suits so we can go out, possibly onto our ship. This is your very own captain's deck. It is located on the top of the ship next to the bridge. Well, I guess it's a bit of a mess right now. There's a lot of general wear and tear looking at here. We haven't had a captain stick around for a while now, so this area has seen better days. Anywho, now that you are here, you'll have to spruce it up a bit. And last but not least, why don't you check out your new captain's quarters? All right, so here's our little door. We've got a little heart on our doorstep. Oh, and look at our room. It's nice. I mean, it's seen better days. Fresh sheets on the bed. That's nice. There was a pop up there, but I was clicking onto the next page and I accidentally clicked through the pop of whatever it was I had to choose. Just pop out your quarters when you're ready to start the fun. Okay. 
So this is our room. It's seen better days. We've got a dead plant and a broken painting on the wall here. Oh, looks like we can... Oh, I've taken it off the wall. Now what? I guess I'll put it back on the wall. We've got some emails. Space Alliance, Captain Assignment. We hope CPU has done a good job introducing your new surroundings. As you know, the assignment is to support your new community, repair your ship, and unlock the secrets of the mysterious relic. Supplying food and resources will be necessary to generate income, as well as taking time to improving your personal quarters and ship's community spaces. Life in deep space can be a change of pace for some. Good luck. Very nice. And Piper. Aw, look! Captain Evie, welcome aboard, Captain Evie. It's with great pleasure that your entire crew welcomes you to our ship's community. We are so happy to have you join our ship and hope it becomes home for you as well. Thank you for joining our team and family, your crew. That's nice, we're gonna need to go meet our crew. It looks like we have a chest here. Storage bin must be empty before it can be torn. Oh, hey, look, there's stuff in here. Recycled parts and a floor lamp. Oh, nice, we can decorate. There we go, I put a lamp in. We're sprucing it up to our own tastes. Captain Evie, I hope you're settled in and ready to get started. I know your deck has seen better days, so I thought you could use this. Handy restoration ray. This tool can be used to clean up in small damaged areas quickly so we can press and hold to use it and get this place cleaned up. So let's give it a go here. Oh, there we go. And we got some scrap metal from these. And there we also have some footprints we can clean up and some goo. I get the goo? There we go. Oh, and it's given us dark matter. Oh, all right. Looks like we have a planter. Okay, so this is a little planter we have over here. There's five of them, but one doesn't have power. Right, oh, found a screw, it looks like. Hardware parts. But we are wasting our energy bar, so in the top right corner we have our energy and our health, as well as our power. So this must be for the planters. We're using, we've got five, but we only have four maximum power there. And a fuel supply, we've got five of whatever those are. Now this little restoration beam can also get rid of those holes in the floor, but not these big ones. And not the big boxes either. So if we go back through here, we're going to run into a crewmate. Hello, Captain. I'm Kaida, Chief Science Officer and your second in command. I'm so glad you are finally here because I can really use your help. You see, things on board are getting a little out of control. Progress of the mission is not going very well and the ship has been falling apart more and more every day. We even had to close some areas of the ship for safety reasons. The crew has been losing patience and are starting to believe things will only get worse. As the second in command, I've been staying motivated but it's getting harder to inspire others. Why don't you go introduce yourself to the crew and see what you can make of, of everything. You can find details on the crew in your crew tab when you're ready. Come and find me once you've had a ch chance to meet everyone. Thanks, Captain. Talk to you soon. All right, so she's saying we need to go and meet all of our crewmates, which is going to be quite a few. All right, so this is back here. We've got CPU up here. Great job fixing your deck so far. To restore areas that are too large, this restoration right, check with Edward. And we got 50 credits and 10 recycled parts. Okay, so he's given us stuff. And there are these shiny things on the floor where we can get other resources from. So if we find these on the ship, we can click on them and get some other random pieces. So we're gonna need lots of resources, I imagine. We're at floor number one. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. All right, all the way down here. We've got some sparkly things everywhere. Oh, here's where fuel must go. And who might you be? It's Stuart, he's rolling his eyes. So new captain, huh? I bet you don't know the first thing about this ship's inner workings or how to fix any of the components around here. This is exactly why everything is so run down. Newbie captains who don't want to take care of an older ship. Just leave it all to me as usual. What a joke. Okay, he's not. I don't think he likes us very much. Instructions. Bio suit rack. Always wear protective suit when servicing the engines. Return suits to rack when finished. Do not wear suits for long periods of time. Do not sleep in suit. Hmm, console readings are very complicated. But flashing lights mean it's working, so that's good. Now, what do we have over here? So there's something on the ground for dark matter, but what is this? Scanning. Access denied. Real captains only, no trainees. Oh, okay, so we're not even allowed in there. <laughs> Interesting. All right, what about here? More scrap metal. This machine only takes dark matter fuel. Okay, and nine credits. And I think we can take the stairs because we're only going up one floor. Oh, and I wonder what we're gonna find in the stairway. Can we open this chest? No. All right, let's go up to six then. We got another one of these angry locks. Vehicle docking station is out of order. I should see Edward about repairs. Okay, so I can't stand on there. Oh, but there, there's a ship here. Shinji Space Racer. Hardware parts. And look, there's little suits. Spare spacesuits and gravity boots. Human sizes only. Captain, I'm installing the latest firmware update on your shuttlecraft. It should be available soon, Edward. Okay, so it's currently not working then. It's getting an update. But then later we're gonna be able to take our little spacecraft out. But there's nobody to meet on this floor. Oh, unless we can go through this way. All right, so this is like a loading bay and storage area. A few credits about. Basketball net. The hoop is very used and the net is falling apart. There's a kitchen up here. There's a shop or... The mechanics. Oh, here's some people. It's Steven. Hi, I'm Steven. I live aboard with my grandparents and little sister Kendall. If you meet her, try not to mention anything about G-H-O-S-T-S. 
She acts tough, but I think she's a little shaken up these days. It's not our fault though. Things have felt creepy and isolating since we arrived at the gray planet. Oh, this is Edward. Okay, so he is works at the machine shop. He'll be the one who's fixing things. But if I had a little help gathering supplies, I know we could really make a lot of improvements. So I wonder what we'll be able to do then. Oh, uh, laser blaster level two. We need a laser blaster. We don't have that. Scrap metal block and aluminum. Oh, uh, we don't have those things. But restoration ray level two. Scrap metal blocks and aluminum. And then we could get maybe a restoration ray up. Although I don't think we have very much money. But oh, captain's kitchen. Well, that must be, is that an expansion on our house? I wonder. Fancy quarters. Holographic simulations. Storefront quarters. Officer quarters. Local docking stations, so different things. Oh, a watering pack. Oh, so we build a water crops. Okay, that's really interesting. But we only have 170 credits at the moment, so we don't really have any supplies or resources. But since we're just on a mission to meet everybody, oh, it's very convenient that you've come out the store. Shinji. Hello, I'm Shinji, but I'm not really part of the crew. My family paid for my room and board, so I'm just studying remotely. No offense, but I wish they would have picked a less rundown ship. I mean, how old is this ship anyways? I'll catch you around, Captain Evie. All right, let's go up to recreation. That's where I think we'd find lots of people. <gasps> it's so cute up here. There's like trees and little plants. Hardware parts. What's in this room? This looks like somebody's house. There's three dark matter on the floor. They've got a little treadmill over here with the hard rock playlist and then some bedrooms. Lauren's room and Stuart's room. Is this a library or a school? I mean, are there children on board? Oh, there must be children because this is definitely like a little classroom. Found some dark matter in here and Max's room is in here. All right, inside the greenhouse, there's a little robot over here. Can't find any people. I wonder if it's just the wrong time of day. It's 2.15 on a Sunday. That seems like a time when people would be out and about, but I haven't really seen that many people. Oh, there's some people down here, though. <laughs> like how they're dressed up in, like, Dungeons and Dragons costumes. Stuart, don't you think Shinji's about the laziest person you ever met? He's spending way too much time around my sister. Interesting. Oh, hello, Captain Evie. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. I am a mechanical android number 10, but everyone calls me Max. Oh, he's a robot. I am also the designated educational instructor and run our school program. I'm not directly involved in your primary mission, but I can be a useful source of statistical and analytical data. It's not by the classroom if you'd like to learn something. Very interesting. Okay. I like how Max is a robot and they are just like, <laughs> they're just over there playing. It's very cute. All right, but not many people on this floor. So let's go up to the plaza. That seems like a place where people would hang out. And here's two. Oh, this is Kendall. Are you really a captain? Yes. Wow, that's cool. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Um, no way. Oh, me neither. I was just asking because sometimes I hear noises at night, but it's probably my imagination. My grandpa says it's because the ship is so old and needs some repairs, but he's old and he doesn't make creaking sounds. <laughs> Hi, Captain. Being the botanist aboard the starship means doing a lot of research. Produce food. Yeah, we'd like to produce food. All right, here's the little shop. And I heard that this shopkeeper wanted to meet us. It's Robert. Captain, welcome to Galactic Green Bottle's general store. My name is Robert. My son, Jimmy, and I are in charge of the supplies here. We carry many items for purchase that can be bought with ship credits. I can also find off-ship buyers for anything you produce or want to sell. Just bring me your items and I'm at the register. Oh, and that reminds me. Jimmy, where's that boy? Well... Wait, I remember how to do it myself. Click. Automatic door opening sounds. Oh, what is this? It's like a little, I don't know, like a pot. This here is bin bot. I will send him to your deck each day to collect anything you want to sell there as well. Oh, nice. Beep boop, here to help. <laughs> so cute. Just put any items you want to sell into bin bot and he will bring them to me every evening. Feel free to shop around before you leave. I'm looking forward to a prosperous working relationship. Now, he sells seeds. It would be good for us to get some seeds, but I don't think we have like a way to necessarily water them. Uh, but here, this must be Jimmy. What now? Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. And you're the new captain. Well, you don't look like the other captains, but you have to work as hard as me to gain everyone's trust. Although first I'm going around people's houses and stealing their parts that are on the floor uh, or their money. Because sometimes it's credits that are lying on people's floors and I'm taking them. So this is a way to gain people's trust, right? So that's clearly going very well. I think we'll have to come back to get seeds, but we need to figure out how we water things first. Here's a gym. Let's go into the gym. It's Lauren. I was so happy. I finally have a new captain. She helps people keep in safe in shape. Rock climbing weights, yoga, a little bit of everything for everyone. So there's a lot of things apparently on this ship that are broken. And it's going to be our job to get those repaired. Because apparently there used to be a hollow sim. Who is this guy? It's Chip. Chip, the ship's sh chef. Which is a quite a little tongue twister. Chip, the ship's chef. <laughs> oh, and his wife is Kada. She's our second in command. That's cool. All right, here we've got another little angry thing. Broken living quarters. Maybe this could be repaired someday. And then I guess we'd have be able to have more people on board if we could get that fixed up. A nice little garden down here. And these are two things that are also closed. And what's on the other side? Oh, the canteen is on the other side. So this is Chip's restaurant. And then there's something else that's closed down here. I'm not finding a lot of people though. Let's go up to the next floor. We can take the stairs. Oh, and this is Kata. So we, she's the one, we just met her husband. Oh, I can't get through. This is very annoying. <laughs> she won't let me past. I'm just trying to go upstairs. I'm trying to meet everybody like you asked me to. 
All right, this is the living quarter. So this is where everyone's houses actually are. So oh, this one, look at it. It's got like a cute little like rug in front. Oh, and this is the lady who sent us the first piece of mail. Aren't you a sturdy young thing? Nice to meet you, Captain Evie. I'm Piper. I've been aboard this ship for many years and my family knows the ins and outs. The ship might be old, but they don't make them like this anymore. She just needs someone to give her a little attention. Oh, and her husband is Edward. Okay, and then this is their grandson who we met earlier, Stephen. And next door to them, let's see who's in here. There's a little plant guy here. <laughs> Sprout! Hey, Captain, I'm Sprout. Wow, you are a lot taller than I imagined. I bet you are popular. Did you know over 65% of all trainee captains drop out of the program within their first year? Since my arrival on the ship, we've had a 100% dropout rate, which is statistically impressive. Oh, not that you would. I mean, you look very capable. Ugh, shoot. <laughs> there goes my first impression. Oh, I love him. His favorite subject in school is science. Grammar, vocabulary, and composition classes are so boring. Oh, I like him. <laughs> all the ship's captains have dropped out since he's arrived on the ship. Oh, who's that? And they've got a little puffball with them. I can't get into Fiji's room. I just missed them. Ah, oh, disaster. What was that thing? <laughs> Hold on. All right, is there any people in here, first of all? There's a book here. Oh, oh, they've just come out the other side. I'm Fiji. I'm getting good vibes from you. You have a kind soul. This ship has been giving off strange vibes. I've been meditating and trying to speak with the unsettled spirits. Interesting. And this is Poofy. <laughs> and this is me stealing the credits from these people's houses. And some wires. I've just taken some wires from your house. I don't think you needed them. Hopefully you didn't need them. All right, and what's in this one? All right, there's nobody currently in here. So they must be at work or somewhere. But I did just see something really tall come in and I think they've come in here, possibly with Sprout. Yes, this thing. <laughs> Pilot. Oh. Greetings, Captain Evie. My real name is Tough for Humans to Pronounce, so everyone just calls me Pilot. And the nickname suggests, as the nickname suggests, I am Galactic Green Bottle's Navigation Officer. I require a little rest so you can find me here at the helm most of the time. For our mission, we are orbiting the elusive gray planet. CPU and I monitor all progress on the surface from the bridge. So he's our pilot. Okay, cool. And we just call him Pilot because nobody can pronounce his name. <laughs> Bless. Right, it's 7.30 p.m. already. I wonder, just got the science and medical floor left. The medical bay is now closed. Contact Francis for any emergencies. Some hardware parts down here. What else do we have? There's a skeleton just hanging in this person's house. A skeleton in the kitchen is even a little creepy for me. Agreed. What kind of strange person just puts a skeleton in their house? Good evening, Captain. Sorry for the intrusion, but it's 8 p.m. I forgot to tell you that every day at 8 p.m. we enter a night mode on the ship to mimic a daylight cycle for the crew and to save power. I'll let you know when it's officially lights out later, though. Bye-bye till then. Okay, so when we go out there, it should be dark out. I imagine, like, yeah, people's houses aren't going to be impacted. But when you go outside, is it different? I'm not sure. I guess it must be. Can I help you? Oh, this is Francis. This is the doctor. Chief medical officer. Right, and who's this with you? No, not you, Francis. I've already talked to you. Oh, it's Robert. Okay, we've met Robert before. He runs the general store. Oh, it looks like there's a science lab over here. The lab is closed. Okay. So yeah, things must close around 8 p.m. or even a little bit earlier. So I think what makes the most sense then is we go and we spend the rest of our energy getting tidied up. All right, we're starting to feel tired. So I guess we go to bed. Here's the little bin bot. Eat boop, whoops, this item cannot be sold. Please insert a different item. So we can sell some of these items maybe, but I think we're gonna need them. So let's hold on to them for now. Let's just hop into bed. And the end of our first day, captain's log. Sunday, quarter one, day one, year one. Bidbot does not pause it, nothing. Active missions, one. All right, on to day two, let's see. Robert, space pack. Just a reminder, the space pack upgrades are still available at our shop. We can add more inventory slots to your space pack today. Stop on by for details and pricing. All sales are final. Okay, that's really good. Let's take a look in our actual inventory here. So yeah, we've got only one row at the moment, but we can get up to four rows in the future, it looks like. Missions, we need to meet the crew. We are missing just two people. Doc 12 and I 1900. So. Those seem like they could be robots that we're missing. I'll have to take a look. We've got some birthdays in the calendar for the month. That's really fun. Uh, looking at the crew. Oh, here, maybe we can just see what they look like here. Oh, okay. Uh, I-1900 is a giant robot bunny, which is a little terrifying. And wait, have we met Lauren yet? Oh yeah, she works at the gym. I hope we have met Lauren. Ah, Doc 12, the junior medical officer. Oh, that's the Francis's daughter then. Why is her name Doc 12? Interesting. Oh, look, there's some sort of cutscene here. Oh, Lynn's coming. She's the botanist. Hi, Captain. I've been looking forward to meeting with you up here on the captain's deck. As a botanist and agricultural specialist on board, I've been growing the bulk of the ship's food crops. To be honest, it's a big task, but with your help, I think we can do it together. 
Do you think you'd make a good spaceship farmer? Uh, yes. That's all I've ever wanted to do. Oh, thank you so much. Well, to produce anything, you will first need to build machines. All right, so that's what we've got over here. Machines and decorations can be crafted on your workbench. There are indoor machines like planters that will be marked with an indoor icon. And outer hull machines like solar panels that will be marked with an outer hull icon. The one with the star. These types of machines can be built on the outer hull. Here is a basic planter. Oh, another one. But planters machines won't work without power. You'll see the power icon flash when it needs power. Let's head to the outer hall and I'll show you how to generate power. Look, we're doing a little space walk here. To generate more power, just build another solar panel to collect all the solar energy around us. The ship's HUD power display will also help you keep track of how much power you're generating and how much power your machines are requesting. Here, you can have this solar panel to get started. Now that your planter is powered, just press on it while holding some seeds. See how easy it is? You can have the rest of the potato seeds I harvested this morning. Hey, she gave us five potato seeds. Planted seeds will need to be watered every day until they're ready for picking. See the difference between a watered plant and a dry plant? This is the watering pack I usually use. Hey, she gave us a watering pack too. You can now get seed types from Robert in the general store. Also, any crops you grow can be sold to gain credits as well. Bring me some of your potatoes when they're ready and I'll know you have the hang of things. And thank you, Captain. It's nice to have you on board. So we've got a new quest then, a mission upgraded here, growing crops. Use the planter and seeds to grow the crops and request it. Grow three potato to give to Lynn. How exciting. Okay, so we've got a watering pack and potato seeds. Can I move these? The planter does not accept this item. That's cool, but I don't want the planter to accept this item. I don't want to, oh yes, okay. Just want to move these so that they're in like slightly better spots. At least like lined up, I think. That one doesn't have power, but she did give us a solar panel. So I think if we come over here, we're gonna be able to go onto the roof. Okay, I thought we had to put it on, but maybe if we just try to exit. Do you wanna suit up and visit the outer hall? Yes. Probably should have suited up before going into the airlock, but that's okay. All right, now we just need to place the solar panels. It looks like there's a solar panel already over here. So let's just put this one beside that one. Now we have power for three more spaces. Can we also clean this stuff up? Is that how we fix this? Oh, it is. Okay, and it also gives us some other parts. That also gives us dark matter. But all of this type of stuff will still be exhausting for us. But it's another way to get parts, and I feel like we're gonna need lots of them. Ooh, upgraded tool required for that one. What about this little star. It was a whole bunch of dark matter. Okay, a little area here is tidied up. We'll have to come back out here later, but we're going to use up all our energy just doing this. So let's go back inside. All right, we can get all five of our plants here with potatoes and then we can use our watering bag. And there we go. All of them are watered just like that. We are now officially space farmers. That's all I've ever wanted. All right, we've got two more people to meet though. And I also wanna see what's on the workbench. What can we craft? Cause we have we do have some resources that we've already collected. We need soil samples and we would be able to make some more uh, planter machines. We can make a storage bin already cause we have enough scrap metal. A recycler, you need copper and alien fungus. Oh, the alien fungus looks kind of terrifying. And the compost machine, we need root bacteria and soil bacteria. A furnace, we would need some stone. Oh, another solar panel that we could make. We have all the materials to make a solar panel if we want to make those. We need to figure out how to get soil samples first though. Meteorite extractor, copper and stone, and then finally an H2O station. Need to refill your watering pack. This water station will give you access to clean recycled water whenever it's placed on your deck. Oh, so our water pack is not infinite. It does have to be refilled. And look, oh, we can make furniture for our house. Oh, we could decorate it. Oh, look, there's even like a little bookshelf. <laughs> These are so cute. Grass path, looks like slime. A wooden path. Oh, some nicer flowers. Cause we've already, yeah, we have this dead plant already. <laughs> might be nice to get some of these other nicer ones later. Some things are locked in here, so we might have to, have to discover them. A port window, oh cool. Square window, a banners, paintings, sprout. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> all right, all sorts of different things in the workbench, but we don't really have the materials for them yet, just yet. We do also need to go meet two more people. So I don't see anybody new in here. I'm thinking we need to go to the medical bay to meet the doctor or possibly over to the lab and also wherever that right weird bunny robot was. All right, I don't see her in here though, actually. Maybe the other doctor works in, oh, there she is. You must be the new captain we've been expecting for a while now. I am the junior medical officer and we'll be tracking your medical records throughout our journey. I don't have any additional data on your assigned mission. Awkward pause. Goodbye. I uh, don't have anything interesting to say, really. I should probably just get going for now. Well, it was <laughs> lovely to meet you. We haven't been to the science lab. There's nothing in here. We'll definitely have to come back later because this looks very interesting. Let's go down to the crew quarters. So we are searching for that bunny thing. Can't get into Fiji's room. They're not in here, whoever it is. I wonder actually, well, that's not you. I wonder where you're going. <laughs> down to level four. Don't mind me. I'm just following you down. I can't get... You can't run past people on the stairs, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. 
All right, let's see. Are they down here? I'm looking for a big robot thing. I wonder if on your map you can find out where people are. No, it doesn't show you where people might be. Oh, there they are. Okay, here. Programmed assistant for the family unit. Scanning. You are not programmed into my directory. Scanning again. Your facial scan and fingerprints will be stored as guest user. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, well, I think we've met everybody now. Return to Kada. Okay. And do we want to buy some more seeds? We have a bit of money, technically. There's carrots and peas, corn and apples. Plant these seeds in a tree planter. Oh, we don't have a tree planter. Takes 20 days to mature, but will continue to produce fruit. Oh, well, that's really cool. That seems really expensive, though. Takes six days to grow uh, to produce multiple corn. Four days to grow the potatoes. So we're a little ways off from doing that quest then. Four days to grow carrots and four days to grow uh, potatoes again five days to grow soybeans but it will grow multiple and can be harvested three times oh that's very interesting i wonder how much the upgraded backpack costs it's always good to know 500 okay so that's a good thing to kind of work towards because you just you always want to be able to carry more items having limited bag space is just terrible all right oh what is this digital bulletin i require some collaboration to collect the following items any donations will be highly regarded max needs a vegetable oil you have three days completed so this is a bulletin board I don't have vegetable oil and I don't know how to get it. Can I buy vegetable oil? Oh, you just closed your shop. Literally as I came over there. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, let's just go up to the captain's deck and bridge for now. Oh, and of course, Kate is not here. Oh, no, where could she be? <laughs> I suppose she could like literally be anywhere. Um, Let's go down to the pla... Wait, were we just in the plaza? We were, and she's not in the plaza. Crew quarters? Where does she live? Ah, there she is. I found you. Great job, Captain. I'm glad to see you've met everyone. Remember to check in with your crew often. They may need help or they can offer their advice from time to time. In fact, I think Edward just mentioned that your shuttlecraft should be up and running now. You can use it to travel down to the Grey Planet and start investigating the relic. Oh, this is excellent news. Okay, she's going to give us some tools, also a shovel to be able to dig things up. And take this laser blaster to break up rocks to defend yourself from any aggressive critters you may run into. Ooh, okay. She's going to stay on board, but we can go to the shuttle bay. I think we probably need to go empty our inventory, though, as I imagine we'll get lots of really interesting things down on the ground. Now, I think let's build a chest to have our stuff in front of our house. Can I do that? Can I place these? Oh, I can place it in this area. Let's drop all of this off and the restoration ray we're not going to need and the watering pack. And we'll just take the shovel and the laser blaster. Because I imagine down on the surface is where we're going to find the dirt and things we need for those pots. Down to the cargo and shuttle bay. And there's Edward. Hey, Captain Evie, over here. I wanted to welcome you to the shuttle bay. This is your personal shuttlecraft right here. Feel free to take her down to the planet's surface whenever we are in orbit. Going down and gathering materials found on the surface is a necessary part of the community, so you'll probably be doing it a lot. These newfangled shuttle models are looking quite spiffy, don't they? Look, it looks so good. Uh-oh, she packs quite a punch. <laughs> We're going to get to go. Do you see an off switch? Oh, he does not know how this thing runs. Oh, dear. We're going to take this down to the uh, surface. Hopefully we're good at flying because it's a bit concerning. Let's go to the relic. It's the only location discovered on our little gray planet here. We are flying down onto the planet's surface. Oh, this must be the relic up here. Okay, cool. Oh, we've got like a little base camp here as well. That's so cute. A little parking spot. All right. The gray planet. We've got, is this a rock? Can we dig here? We can dig here. I don't know for what though. Do you find stuff in the dirt? Oh, yes, okay, we found some soil samples. We need soil samples to make more potters, planters rather. So we can more planters and we can have lots of vegetables growing. Also find some dark matter doing this. Now our energy is of course going to be depleting and we found some minerals. Okay, that could be helpful. Now, so I'm really a big fan of science fiction novels, especially the work of Andy Weir. So if you're not familiar, if you've seen the movie The Martian, uh, it's based on a novel by Andy Weir. And I am just obsessed with all things science fiction. I just think it's great. And having a space farming sim is just, this is my happy place, I think. <laughs> what about our laser? <gasps> we can break these rocks with our laser. Nice, what is this thing? A Space Alliance mobile research pub, standard issue for on-site testing. Some scrap metal. Definitely getting lots of resources on this planet. All right, here's the relic though. I wonder what it is that we need to discover with this because this looks pretty cool. Has some heart shapes in there. What do we need to do with this? Oh, it's booting up. It's doing something. Uh, okay. I love this little laser blaster and this little star shaped shooting thing. <laughs> oh, there's more. Okay, more dirt we can be working in here. What is this thing? Not sure it's anything. Ooh, what is that? Oh, aluminum ore. Okay, we needed like aluminum for something that we were looking at making, but not aluminum ore. We need like refined aluminum. 
A space radish? Is that a sock? A lost sock? How does someone lose a sock in space? How does that happen? <laughs> but also our inventory is technically full now. Uh, so if we find anything new, we won't be able to pick it up. Also, oh, it is 8.15. We are feeling tired. It is probably time for us to leave, head back to our spaceship. We have discovered some new things today though. The soil sample, the minerals, stone, scrap, uh, no, scrap metal we've had before. Aluminum ore though, and space radishes and a lost sock. All new. Let's see if we can just fly home here. Return to ship. Yes. And there we go. Taking off from the planet. We zoom back over. Ah, we made it back onto Galactic Green Bottle, our good old ship. All the way, all the way back up to our area. We're going to need to drop off, I think, these resources. Grab out these because we're going to need those for the morning, the restoration ray and the watering pack. And then we're going to have to do some stuff with these, so maybe some building. But for now, let's just hop into bed. Right, the end of day two. We didn't sell anything. We did complete a mission. Good morning. Simulating day mode. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I am absolutely loving this game. I think it's just the most adorable game. It's a farming sim in space. What is not to love about that? We get to take care of our little plants. We get to upgrade a ship, discover new things down on the planet. And there are so many secrets to discover. So I have gotten a bit further of this in the demo on a live stream I did on YouTube and on Twitch. And I know that this game is just absolutely fantastic. That's why I've been looking forward to it so much. So if you're looking forward to it too, and if you want to see more, let me know because I would love to turn this into a mini series where maybe we get through the first year on board our spacecraft, see if we pass and become a captain or find some other mile marker to have a little mini series. Let me know what your thoughts are because I would love to do it. I made you just a couple more. We'll have to see. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.